You guys remember how the Wii was the ultimate holiday gift back in 2006, but only if you were lucky enough to get a hold of one? Well, fast forward 10 years later and Nintendo has done it again. Only this time, it's the Nintendo Classic Mini. Nintendo revived a 30 plus year old console, loaded it up with 30 games, shrunk it down big time, and fitted it with an HDMI output and USB for power. The classic NES slogan, now you're playing with power. So we got an NES poster and warranty info, a controller, which is pretty much the same as the original look and feel wise. USB power adapter, buried down here, micro USB cable, and the HDMI cable. The console itself is pretty tiny. It's pretty much the same size of a game cartridge for the original NES. Remember back in the day when you would have to push the game in, turn it on, it would come up all messed up, so you'd have to eject the game, blow into the cartridge, thinking it would fix it when it actually didn't do anything, but the process of doing all of that is what actually fixed it. Well, the front flap doesn't open. All 30 games are preloaded into the console itself. I'll put the list down in the description. And we have the power and reset buttons here. So no more RF modulators or composite cables or power supply. On the back, we have a micro USB port for power and HDMI output. Now, it's pretty incredible that everything can fit in the palm of your hand right here, uh, where this is a box worth of stuff for the original. Remember, there's also 30 game cartridges that you gotta account for. Man, in a world where wireless Bluetooth controllers now exist, this definitely brings back memories considering the cord is only like two feet long. So we can scroll through the games and even sort them if we wanted to. Uh, to truly bring back the retro feel and take you back 30 years, you can even set the display mode to CRT, where you have lines going across the screen, like a true CRT monitor. You can even resume where you left off and save your game. This never existed in the original console. You would have to pause your game and leave the console on, pray that no one touches it, turns it off, or the power going out, unless you finish the game in one sitting. This thing is sold out everywhere. Nintendo probably underestimated the demand for it, being that it would mostly attract those who grew up in the 80s and early 90s and wants a refreshed NES for the nostalgia, bringing them back to their childhood. If you're lucky enough to find one on the shelf, it's only 60 bucks in the US and 80 in Canada. There's no internet connection and no more games are being released for it, which kind of sucks because I would have loved to play Circus Charlie and RBI Baseball, but I'm pretty sure I can do that in other ways if I really wanted to. If you guys like this video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, happy holidays, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.